This is how God intended my body to look. Right. There's no surgery, there's no mystery. I but really do look as good as this. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most awkward Lorraine Kelly moments. <laughs> Nothing coming through from my agent. <laughs> I'm trying to cut news out. Right. That might be quite drastic. Do we not need news? No, well, but how much? The sixth Mission Impossible movie is out in the UK cinema. That might be Cher. I'll just take that. <laughs> no, no, it's not. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at embarrassing situations, production blunders, and overall cringe taking place on the set of The Lorraine Show. Can you think of any we missed? If so, tell us in the comments below. Number 10, Lorraine rushes to help a cameraman who toppled over. Lorraine is most popular for her celebrity interviews, but her chat with Tom Fletcher, frontman of Naughty's boy band, McFly, was more of a slam than anyone expected. The segment started in an unconventional fashion, with Lorraine and her guest hanging out backstage by a bin lorry. But I do understand that there's a celebrity bin man on the way. As they made their way into the studio, the cameraman following them tried spinning around the pair, but fell over backwards, with audiences at home getting a first-person view of the whole affair. Yeah. Well, now we're getting into Christmas. I know. Oh, oh, oh you're okay. right. Are you all right? Can't stand up. It's okay. Ever the professional, though, Lorraine and Fletcher helped the chap back on his feet and made sure he was okay before sitting down for their interview. It's all good, very well. Anyway, what were you saying? Number nine. The set goes dark during a live interview. The last thing you want a morning show to do is send you back to sleep. But when the lights go off in the studio, it might be time to call it a day. Even if it's only 8 in the morning. Lorraine was interviewing Nick Knowles about his new season of DIY SOS when they had their own electrical emergency. Oh, that, oh look at that. Sorry about that. Could you Somebody get, like, could you get one torch. of your builders in? Is this, is that? I don't is, know what hang happened on, Is Billy in the house? Is Bear <laughs> Electrician? Is that, is he? <laughs> I don't know. As the studio plunged into a ghostly darkness, Lorraine couldn't help but giggle and apologize for the on air mishap while Knowles looked around worried with his own expert theory about what had happened. No, I think that was Piers leaving the building. He has that effect on the, <laughs> like, the shift oh, in the... There's usually lightning <laughs> <laughs> people crying. Number eight, Lorraine's private phone number is accidentally leaked. The best guests aren't always human. Plenty of animals have made an appearance on the show, cats and dogs, of course, but also the occasional penguin and horse behinds. This, this is the big end of the horse. It is. <laughs> One furry friend has become a household name of the show, Lorraine's own puppy, Angus. He has gone to puppy school on the show, been given a makeover, and even celebrated his own birthday. But as he was trying to find love ahead of Valentine's Day, the camera zoomed in a bit too close to his beautiful snout to reveal Lorraine's private phone number on the dog's tag. Love is in the air. <laughs> Angus is feeling a wee bit lonely. Now that's a blunder they won't erase from the books anytime soon. Number seven, flirting with Piers Morgan. If there is someone on telly who is even more of a flirt than Lorraine, it's got to be Piers Morgan. You can do whatever you want with me. I'm your tool. <laughs> oh. And it doesn't do us any good that their two shows are filmed in the same studio and air on ITV one after the other, giving the two presenters the chance to visit each other's shows regularly. This is why you're so good at what you do. Because you, you never stop. <laughs> and when they do, it always gets a bit uncomfortable for anybody watching. The two seem to never miss an opportunity to chat each other up whenever a camera is pointed at them. But it might be better if they move things away from the limelights before it got out of hand. Well, actually, do you know what? You cut a manly figure. I'm ready for a bit of a Highland fling. What about have you, you? Have you got pants on into it? <laughs> I'm uh, <coughs> commando. Number six, Lorraine cuts off a guest mid-sentence. There are so many things that can go wrong when presenting a show live on TV, and Lorraine seems to have had them all happen to her at one point in time. While conducting an interview with Strictly Come Dancing's Tess Daly, Lorraine didn't realize that she was running out of time until the credit music started playing over her guest still talking. So it looks like they'd have a blast, they you know, do, so I would rather do. enjoy it, but I, feel, I do also feel for them because it gets so nervous. <laughs> Lorraine dramatically and abruptly cut off Daly mid-sentence to hastily say goodbye to her viewers and ignoring her guest. Yikes! 
we wouldn't want to be in either one of their shoes. Gosh, we've got to say bye-bye. We'll keep talking. We'll keep talking. We talk we'll about see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm baking. Number five, Lorraine gets a phone call on live TV. Lorraine is definitely not the first to have had a call come in while at work. We've all been there. But when you're on live TV, there is always an added level of awkwardness. Now, the sixth Mission Impossible movie is out in the UK cinema. That might be Cher. I'll just take that. <laughs> no, it's not. Sorry about that. What can be so important to call this early in the morning? Was it Cher? Was it Tom Cruise? Unfortunately, not. It was just a tasteless prank from the producers at Lorraine's expense, which left her red-faced and quite embarrassed while fumbling with her phone. You would think there are better ways for a producer to get in touch with the host of their live morning show than giving them a call. It's actually Tom Cruise. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Number four, Lorraine pronounces her guest's name wrong. When you have guests on your show every day for years and years, it's fine to get someone's name wrong once. But when you keep getting a name wrong so many times that the guest has no other choice but to call you out on it, you know you've made a big blunder. Carl Pinkleton is Pilkington. Pilkington. What did I say? Oh, you've said it three different ways. Have I fun. don't know how you managed it. <laughs> it's a good start, isn't it? That's what fellow TV presenter Carl Pilkington had to do when he was on the show. What did I say? Did I say Pilkington? I don't. I don't really don't know. Anyway, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Lorraine had managed to get his name wrong in three different ways before laughing it off and resorting to calling her guest just by his first name. Mr. A lot of people will be happy about that. Mr. Pilkington, thank oh, you. Still, you still got it wrong. Number three, Lorraine gives a GMB guest the cold shoulder. It looks like Lorraine's forgetfulness regarding her guests is a constant source of awkward moments, so let's keep them coming. In one of her routine live links with the desk of Good Morning Britain, she made an awful gaffe that made headlines. You remember Esther McVeigh from mm -hmm. her uh, GMTV oh, days? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> when Susanna Reid asked Lorraine if she remembered their guest, Esther McVeigh, former television presenter on the same channel as Lorraine, she shared her Scottish charm in a panic. Nodding and smiling and swiftly moving on, she later admitted to not remembering the woman at all. Blimey, that was harsh. I don't remember, I don't remember, love. I don't remember at all. <laughs> Number two, Lorraine stops an interview after Dr. Hillary's phone starts ringing live. It might be a blessing for Lorraine that she has a wide cast of co-hosts to aid her and perform some of the worst on-air blunders on her behalf. However, Dr. Hillary Jones couldn't have picked a worse location to have their phone go off. During a live report in front of the Prime Minister's house at 10 Downing Street, you can hear a phone start ringing. But while Hillary tries to ignore it, we can see Lorraine's co-host start to panic and Lorraine herself eventually calling him out on it. Hillary you know, Jones, ago, when I was Hillary Jones, the is therapy, that his, Hillary Jones, is just, that your, that's your phone I going? Think it's, I think it's Boris I really telling hope, us to get a move I really on. hope that's <laughs> Boris Johnson asking you in for a cup but of tea. I, I, I bet she was having fun being on the other side for once. Number one, Lorraine Kelly lashes out at a GMB guest. However awkward the moments on this list have been, one thing is for certain, Lorraine always maintained her professional and nice manners. But you better not cross Lorraine Kelly because she could be feisty, and Jennifer R. Curry sure knows what that feels like. After appearing on Good Morning Britain to talk about her relationship with Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Lorraine lashed out at her during a live link with Piers Morgan's show. I know, it just doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. What's the point of you coming on and then not saying anything? It was absolutely brutal and certainly quite the cringe to watch. Did, you didn't answer any, any of the questions that, the, that was, were put to you and I just don't see the point of you coming on, to be honest. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.